Ross Levin captain Kenny Crichton. Disappointing loss at the weekend, Kenny. What's your thoughts on the game? Yeah, certainly a tough one to take after uh, our superb uh, bowling and fielding performance. Um, I think we, we, we really did well. Um, on a, what we expected to be a, quite a tough game. Um, obviously, in the end, it was a tough game and, and we lost it, but um, for us to, to only be chasing a target at 96, um, we were certainly pleased at the halfway mark. Um, then to go out and, and really struggle um, with Chris Greaves and um, Gotham Rye uh, scoring in double figures um, was a tough one to take at the end of the game. So this week, double header, Kenny. Um, first up, a tough trip to Carlton on Saturday. Thoughts ahead of that game? Yeah, Char uh, Carlton obviously two out of two so far. Uh, I think uh, most would say a surprise win. Um, against Grange um, at the weekend there. Um, I think obviously we, we've been in the season knowing that every game is going to be a tough game but um, on our day we can perform and, and hopefully this weekend we can learn from mistakes in the past two weekends and come out with a win. Good stuff. Sunday, long trip down to Dumfries. A few supporters, mm -hmm. bus trip, long journey, 7am 7, 7 departure. First round of the Scottish Cup, looking forward to that? Yeah. Dumfries is a beautiful ground to play at. Um, been lucky enough to play there once and, and do a few trips down there. Um, lovely club, nice people around, and uh, obviously for us, um, again, no changes in the squad for that team. So, um, yeah, I think the guys are, are really looking forward to it. It's not often we get a, a bus journey. Uh, so, yeah, Excellent. fingers crossed. Good luck at the weekend. Thank you. Mate. See you next week. Cheers. Right, here we have Ali Sim standing in for Scott Lucas, second eleven captain this week. Last week's match was postponed, so first match of the season was on Sunday against Carlton and Edinburgh. An excellent win to kickstart the season. What's your thoughts on the game, Ali? Well, first of all, <laughs> the sun was shining, which is always good. Um, I thought it was, uh, well, it was the first run out the seconds I've had in the league, which was great. Last week we were snowed off, which again was odd at this time of year. But uh, I thought it was a good performance. We had a few... Uh, new faces in the team and uh, yeah we played against quite a, a youthful but pretty uh, talented Carlton side so very happy with the result. Good. This week home match against top of the table and 100% team Buramuir. We're What's also 100%. Of course 100% with one game, Buramuir 100% with two games. What was the thoughts and plans for this one? Well it's at home so we've had a little look at the wicket uh, today, well just now actually. Brick hard, so uh, if we've got a good weather forecast for the rest of the week, that'll be great. Uh, looking forward to it. Hope for another win. We'll not be worried too much about uh, what the op opposition are doing, but we want to focus on ourselves. And if we play as well as we can, I think we've got a decent squad to pick from this week, then uh, you know, we should do alright. We'll certainly be trying our best. We get one game at a time, as they say in the telly. That's it. Good stuff. Cheers, Ali. Cheers, bud. Okay, here we have Eddie Gibbs, the replacement for Funbus 4th 11 captain Ian Green. Following last week's excellent 8 wicket win over Carrollton, you might have um, expected a bit more on Saturday. A bit disappointed from the result, what happened? Well, I wasn't there for the win, I was only on the losing team. But the, uh, I think they faced a team in Murrayfield Daffs that had some good bowlers and they were swinging it. And uh, I don't think the breeze impacted it much, there was a bit of wind about, but I think that the uh, they came down from the league before after a tough season last year and I think the, the, uh, they just showed that they were the better team on the day with the bowling and uh, I think in the middle of the innings we lost four wickets in an over, a run out and a couple bowled from newer players to the team and it just sort of descended into a collapse that we never recovered from. Perfect. This week another home match against Clark Manning, looking forward to that. As a team that the Fords beat last season in the game away there. We didn't have a massively strong team, it was a good win and it kind of boosted the season last year and they went on a little run before the availability died off and I think the availability is pretty good again this week so I think we have to be confident going into Clackman in here. The game never happened here last season, they called off uh, about 30 minutes before the start when we had the ground set up so hopefully they'll be here this this, this year and uh, we'll get that game on and it should be a good game. Excellent, thanks Eddie.